Hello, my name is Gabriela Kreising. I'm um, one of the project lead of Eclipse Velocitas. Uh, you heard already and saw even a little bit of our project. So what I would like to um, do today is give you an update where we are. So having a recap, what we achieved since um, the last contribution day, where we worked on and what we achieved and what we are currently working on. So to give you a little bit of out outline. But before I do so, I would like to give a quick recap. What is Eclipse Velocitas? We just saw something, and there's something with code and something with uh, developing vehicle application. But what is the concept behind? I would like to show quickly. So, basically, imagine you would like to develop a vehicle application that, for example, uh, subscribes to a speci uh, specific data points that you would like to uh, receive, or you would like to uh, change. By using the concept of um, the vehicle data broker from Kuxa, we heard today the great presentation from Sven, uh, which presented um, how the data broker uh, works and also the collaboration with the VSS specification. So if you would like to develop such an application, then you can use um, Eclipse Velocitas. Eclipse Velocitas is basically a programming model that helps you in an easy manner to develop such an application. Our programming model consists basically on a vehicle model based on the VSS specification. So uh, VSS is the specification and our model is a concrete implementation um, for a specific uh, programming language like Python or C++. So you could use then our default um, vehicle uh, model for your implementation, but if you think it is not sufficient, then you can use our generator to uh, generate your own vehicle model and using, for example, additional um, services to integrate this into your model. After you have done that, you can simply use our template repository. You have seen that already in the presentation from um, Dirk, where you saw how a project will be generated out of the template. So our template repository consists on uh, um, a, date, uh, a dev container. So dev container is basically when you um, use this template repository, create an own repository, and open it in Microsoft Visual Studio Code, that automatically everything will be installed what is required for your programming um, language. In addition to that, we have a center configuration file. That means you can just on one place define the vehicle name. Uh, you can define which model you would like to use, for example, uh, the default vehicle model or a specific model that you have generated before. And in addition, you can define in this um, configuration file also the services. <coughs> Sorry. And after that, you can just use um, the skeleton that we have provided where you have a specific um, structure defined, how we would like um, to propose uh, how you implement a vehicle app and just straight ahead starting with implementing the, um, the application. Besides this fact, we have also a test framework to allow you to uh, write um, unit and integration test. We have um, the runtime services integrated so that you can um, simulate the runtime services locally uh, with the help of um, KCD uh, and also we have integrated uh, CI CD workflows. That means you don't need to take care, okay, how can I build this application, how can I test it, how all the stuff uh, is usually re um, relative time consuming can be done. All that hassle we will take care. So we have in addition, I forgot to mention also our SDK. <coughs> at the very bottom, um, where we have done an abstraction of the application. We have the, um, the data broker client, how to interact with them, um, prepared and as well as the middleware API to allow you to have, uh, for example, um, the pub sub communication or as well the um, service invocations. And <clears throat> Uh, in addition to all of that, we have, of course, also some uh, examples that help you to easier to quick start um, the implementation. For example, we providing an example of the seat adjuster or the lovely always called um, dog mode application that we have also as an example. Okay, so that's basically what is Eclipse Velocitas. To sum it up, 
It is a development tool chain for the, um, developing containerized vehicle application in an easy manner where you can just focus on the implementation of your vehicle application and don't care about setting up your dev environment, your test environment, and your build environment. <coughs> This brings me then to what are our major achievements since the last two months, since the first contribution day. <coughs> so first of all, we published our programming model, what I just described for Python. And after we have published it, we recognize, okay, there is still room for improvements. Um, we have a, a couple of uh, additional um, steps to do, so to simplify it in a way that the customer doesn't need too much additional manual step, and we improved it quite a lot um, by introducing, for example, this app manifest. After that, also, we published our documentation. We have a couple of, um, we have our, doc our concepts written down in our documentation, as well as a couple of um, tutorials that you can use. <coughs> Um, we heard this today quite a lot also about VSS. Uh, we're supporting with the default um, of our uh, uh, vehicle model, the version 3.0 from VSS, as well as the Kuxa guys doing, so that it works perfectly and smooth together. And nevertheless, we have also for uh, not only Python, we have now also C++ as programming model to support multiple languages, as we have on our roadmap to support also different and other languages. So what's next? <coughs> Basically, um, as I mentioned, the C++ is just the first um, contribution that we have done. And what we are doing now is to work on uh, bringing the um, C++ programming model on the same level as the Python programming model. So we're missing there still the, um, the template project. So currently, you have to fork our SDK. And uh, just using this, we will extract this to have the same convenience as we have provided for Python. And we will also, um, so what we miss currently, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Great support. Um, what we're missing also is um, the integration test support for uh, C++. That's where we are currently also working on. Um, as Dirk mentioned, we're working on um, the interaction with uh, Digital Auto, and therefore we are syncing also our vehicle models to have the same vehicle model and simplifying our uh, vehicle model as well um, to improve it and bring it on the same stage. Speaking of improvements, um, we're working also on um, improving our dev environment so that the dev container will be executed much faster and also the pipelines executing um, yeah, faster. <laughs> and nevertheless, um, we have, uh, we're working on the complete integration uh, of Velocitas into the digital playground, as you have seen the first prototype uh, from, from Dirk. And currently, uh, we will uh, try to make it in a shape that it is so convenient that you can um, just from a prototype directly go um, to the development process of a vehicle application. Yep, that's um, the update from uh, Eclipse Velocitas. Thank you. Great. And the air is dry. The air is dry downstairs. <laughs> okay, so. Any questions? I think the first part, I'm not sure if Dirk is still there to answer questions. Maybe you can answer questions all on the first part. Uh, any questions from your side? No, on the other side? Okay. okay. Well then, <laughs> thanks a lot. Thank you.